Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Dong. I'm the co-founder and COO of Advanced AI. As just uh, said, I came from China, uh, all the way from Beijing to Jakarta, seven hours flight. But uh, I'm very excited to see you know you are here, and I'm uh, very honorable to share you know my thoughts, my perspectives on fintech in Indonesia. Uh, so before uh, talking, going into too much details about you know uh, about the numbers here, I want to uh, you know share my experience about founding this startup three years ago. So I found this startup with Jefferson and Chen, my other two founders. Um, so three years ago, we we were here, and a lot of people they actually didn't know Indonesia, especially in China. Like they didn't even know where where like the country is, but. But at that time, we were here, right? So many people are very interested to know why. We told them, right? Uh, Indonesia is the, big, the fourth biggest country in the world with 300 million population. And the credit card penetration is also quite low, only like uh, 3%. And 30% of people, only 30% of people, they have bank accounts. But the mobile penetration is growing every year with help of cell phone manufacturers like Xiaomi, Huawei, Oppo, Vivo, and also the internet penetration. And another you know, interesting uh, number is the medium age of Indonesian population is only 27, compared with like 35 in China. So with huge number of young people here, we found like this market is very interesting. That's why we were here three years ago. And now, I feel like everyone, you know, probably like heard of like, you know, we have many Chinese fintechs, uh, other big guys like Alibaba and Huawei and Tencent, they are now in, in this market. So it's very, no very interesting, very hot, right? So, um, so that's why Indonesia for us. And what we are doing as a fintech startup? Everyone is talking about like fintech, but you know, fintech is, is nothing but like finance plus technology. But I would say finance is even more important than technology. But what's the most important thing in finance or in lending to be more specific is the risk. So how are we gonna control or manage the risk and fraud? That's what we are doing. We offer Guardian, the flagship product to solve all the fraud and credit rating issues here. Very customized in Indonesia. So uh, we have roughly around 300 customers. Um, many of them are fintechs still, but we have uh, some bank customers. One of them are quite big, or top 10. Actually, a couple of them are top 10. And we have um, some fintech Oh, sorry, some uh, multi-finance companies like Home Credit, Credit Plus, and also we have Gojek and Tokopedia as our customers as well. And for products, we have three big ones, big categories, right? First of all is anti-fraud. We have uh, uh, blacklist check. We have all this ID verification. And EKYC, we offer a kind of uh, a holistic solution for doing the EKYC. And also the uh, scoring by using alternative data-based, machine learning-based query scoring for serving fintechs and uh, um, any multi-finance multi companies here. So why people want to work with us? I think, first of all, we are very much localized compared with our competitors. Localization means you put in all the efforts here in the market and look into the long term. We firmly believe Indonesia is a very promising market that we want to spend many years here. So that's the first of all, first important reason is localization. Second one is uh, accuracy, right? That's also related with the localization because we change our model, change our algos based on local data, our accuracy is actually much higher than our competitors. 
and we have the very best data scientists in Singapore and in Beijing, bring all the technologies, the product experience from China, and to customize them here to fit the local needs, local requirements. That's why we, we have so many customers in, the, in these past two years. And uh, I'm gonna briefly introduce our products and uh, also we'll kind of um, share our thoughts, more thoughts about how we're gonna, you know, um, how our business will be in the next few years. So, uh, the first product is called EKYC. So, as you can see, we start the whole journey by doing OCR first, OCR to recognize all the fields from your IDs, like driver license, KTP, and also bank statements. And then we do ID verification. And then we do live NIST detection to make sure, you know, the people behind the camera is a live person. And then we do facial comparison between the selfie and the photos on the KTP, on the driver license, to make sure they match. And finally, we do face search to make sure, you know, this face may show up in your own database without, uh, with, with the different KTP information, right? So, because in Indonesia, fintechs can, can't really access the CHAPIO, the, the authority ID database. The face search one, we can partly solve uh, this ID verification issue. And fraud is a big thing. Actually, now, it, the fraud has already been uh, industrialized. Many smart people, hackers, you know, they're using a lot of technologies to make the fraud to be, uh, you know, uh, to bypass all the rules, whatever. And, um, and it's very easy to buy those fake KTPs, you know, to buy these SIM cards from online, right? So the left one shows like some hackers can use some machine to control thousands of SIM cards to apply loans from single machine. How are we gonna solve that? And here's an example, right? So people use, same people use different KTPs to apply a loan under basically different background. How are we gonna solve that? How are we gonna detect, detect that? You can't see this person face to face. Everything happened online. And this one means like, if people use someone else ID card to take a selfie during the loan application process, how are we going to detect that? All these are just real cases happened for our customers. So we have some solutions. First one is called face search. We're using computer vision to search by his face instead of by his NIK or IDs. So for example, if the borrower used to use his original face to apply a loan. So we store the face in our database. The second time when he applied loan again, with the same face but different KTP information, we can detect that. We can at least know this guy already exists in our database but with different ID information. So we know definitely this is fraud. So we can build this database for you. We can index all the faces to to enable these face search functions for, 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 for your business. The second one is called risky face. So risky face means like a face who is attached to, to, to a blacklist, to, to kind of like a, a non-performing, you know, uh, the guy who caused NPL, non-performing loan. Use the same technology, but a different database. So we can use this product to detect if he hit our risky face database or not. And we have the uh, OCR, you know, for extracting all the fields of your KTP and also driver license to automate the whole loan application process. And this OCR, I believe, is one of the best in the market. As I said, we change 
this model using tons of millions of local IDs. That's why we, the accuracy is, is, is very good. 99% um, for almost all the fields. Um, besides this eKYC, we also offer you know, this alternative data-based credit scoring. We combine data from telco, from e-commerce, from loan applications, from device, and that will complement what credit bureau offers, like Perfindo, Slick, for traditional banks. That's why a lot of banks are interested in working with us, because we offer this alternative data. We offer this underbank population, uh, the credit score for all this underbank population. It's uh, quite complementary between each other. And we also offer the, I would say, the, the joint modeling, which means we offer um, the, our alternative data to your environment to build the to score together, which means you have your own data, we have our data, we sit together to build a model together. That's what we call this joint modeling. So the benefits of, of doing that is because sometimes our customers, they hope they can contribute their own resources, their own data scientists into this modeling process, but they don't have other kinds of data, but we have. And we have, as I said, quite strong modeling team as well, so we sit together and to build a customized score for them. We are doing this project with home credit, with some banks here as well, and it's getting quite success successful. So above are the products that we offered in Indonesia market. As I said, we, we are here almost like three years already, and we, we look at long term. We believe here, Indonesia is a very promising market for fintechs. Here, fintech means P2B lending, insurance, wealth management, Regutech, Robert Advisor, all these. Now we only focus on lending because this is where we started. But I think in the couple few, you know, in the couple years, in the next couple years, we will apply AI in all these segments. As AI has been improved in Wall Street, as you know, machine learning has been approved, applied for doing all these kind of tradings, insurance pricing in Wall Street. I believe AI can definitely help all these fintech segments to serve individuals as well. Especially, Indonesia government wants to do financial inclusions, and I believe by applying these technologies, we can make the financial inclusions really happen. Uh, one interesting project that we are doing now is try to help farmers to get credit. Because as you know, a lot of farmers, they don't have any record in, in bureaus. They are under, even like under Banked, unbanked. So how are we going to help them to get credit, to buy seed, to raise plants, to do their business, right? So this is a very interesting project. So, um, so there are a lot of technologies behind, you know, for, for serving those very limited, you know, uh, for those people with very limited data. But I think um, we will keep investing our resources, you know, to help farmers to get relevant credit. So that's all. I think that's all for today. Um, so uh, any questions are welcome. Thank you.